What is up guys, gulls and minions, it is me in the wild proxy, and as you can see here we're moving onwards today with Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, and it's pretty good, I mean, what's what's been the best Ratchet and Clank game that we've ever played on the channel, I mean, I really liked Into the Nexus, and we haven't played Kraken Tower, shh, don't mention Kraken Tower, we're not, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, Ratchet doesn't know of his future, <laughs> I mean, I really like Gladiator, but I remember saying that it wasn't as good as how I remembered it. I mean, it's one of those things where it was a childhood game. Whoa, that was a lot of explosions. Did that thing just fi throw fire at me through fire? How does that work? Can you actually do that in real life? Can you throw fire through fire? Because wouldn't the fire just become the fire from the fire? <laughs> that makes any sense? How'd you play this game again? Okay, I remember you played this game again. I mean, I've been really busy with other games like Say the K and Watch Dogs and stuff, and so I've been quite excited to come back into this. Wait a minute. That's like a little, oh, okay, I thought it was like a robot, you know, there's been a lot of robots in this game. This is actually a dude going old school, using an actual bipedal, maybe bipedal, I don't know, did it have legs or did it have tractors? I don't know, it might have tractor wheels and then, that is really old school then, because it didn't even have legs, I don't know, that's just weird. It seems that maybe the technology here is a little bit backwards. Is the technology here a bit backwards? I don't know. Oh, no, no, I've got to do a puzzle right at the start of the video. This isn't going to go very well, but... Do you think there might be a hidden gold bolt around here? I mean, generally, I keep saying this, the, the perfect place is to put gold bolts. You put one right around here, don't you think? I would have put one right here. Are these tentacles or these vines? I don't know. But still, at the same time, this, this would have been such a really awesome area to put a gold bolt. I'll just love a gold bolt. <gasps> Do you think there might be a gold bolt up there? I'm getting my hopes up, aren't I? I'm just getting my hopes up. And I'm going to get depressed and become an alcoholic and then... You know how it goes, me. You don't know how it goes. Anyway, let's use the crypto. Right, so it's basically like a ball bearing game, right? I can do this. I, I can be a boss. Ooh. Right, I need to get the ball across there as fast as possible, right? Do I get it on the red thing? I think I'm supposed to put it on the red thing. I mean, we've only had one go at this, and it was more of a tutorial. So if I leave it here, and if it goes on there, if you press the button in the right place, <laughs> then there's the override minions. Awesome. Open sesame and all that shit. Oh, not jelly again. Does that mean we have to battle those little indestructible robots that eat all the jello? Could you gelatonium outpost? Oh my goodness! They trying to be Sonic like the Hedgehog. Okay, and you can't kill them when they're. Oh, okay, so they can actually use the metal ball thing as protection. I see how it is. I see how it is. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. Are you? Okay, he's not dead yet, and he just squished me. That wasn't very nice. Could you please die? Okay, he's not. This guy's a lot stronger than I thought he was. Is he one of those things where the metal on his back is actually protecting him? Nope, doesn't look like it. It seems that fire will murder you in the end. Okay, let's see. So what have I not leveled up in a while? So I've got my Lightning Ravager, which is version 5. But all the weapons can only go up to version 5, and then that's basically it. But, fusion grenades. So we could level up the fusion grenades. Is there anything else you could do? I mean, remember, Mr. Zircon can't level up in this game, which is really sucky, don't you think? Buzz blades haven't been leveled up. I mean, they're just over halfway, which is pretty good. Predator Launcher? I mean, that hasn't leveled up much. But we've got the Nitro with my trusty shotgun for our boss battles and stuff. I'm thinking the Buzz Blade. Should we use the Buzz Blades? You mean you've been saying a lot about the Buzz Blades, so I'm thinking I show it some love. Right. Now that we've got our weapon of choice, what are we actually doing? Am I messing around with this thing? Let's give this a go then. Stealing this plant's gelatonium. Is that what it's called? Gel gelata gel 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 Jelly, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we're just gonna call it jelly. We should just call it jelly. I'm thinking we just settle on jelly, then we don't have to argue because I want to stay friends with you and I don't want to be arguing over the word for jelly. And that'd be just really sucky. I mean, have you ever lost a friend over something really, really trivial? Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, think of a really awesome friend that you may have used to having and then you just lost them because of some really stupid argument and you just regret it now, maybe in high school or something like that. I mean, I would hate to lose your minions over the arguments over, well, jelly. Don't you think that'd be really sucky? I think that'd be really, really sucky. Especially over ham sandwiches as well. I mean, I would not want to lose you over ham sandwiches, but just remember, all the ham sandwiches are mine and you can never have any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Proxy does not share ham sandwiches. So, it seems that this whole puzzle through the jelly is a little bit more simplistic than we thought. It actually tells you where to put the jelly. I mean, it would be really cool if it was a little bit more... What do you call it? It would... Not unorthodox, but just let, let you pick where to put the jelly. I mean, I assume you can just put the jelly wherever you want. 
Oh wait, yeah, I mean, as you can see, you can put the jelly wherever you like. But the fact that the game has to tell you where to put the jelly is just really, really silly. Don't you think that's really, really silly? I think so. You don't need a symbol telling us where to put it. It also takes you out of the immersion a little bit too, because why would they have these here? I mean, I hope the jelly is some kind of fuel source, or maybe they just eat it. But why would they use it as some kind of elevator system? It just seems so odd. Don't you think that's odd? I think that's odd. Okay, well, Jelly, it seems we don't want you anymore, so goodbye. And now, we're completely somewhere different. Which is... So, is this the place that I flew through when I was using my whole green wing thing? I mean, we haven't been there yet, have we? Wasn't that over there? When do I get to go that way? Do I get to go that way? Do I just jump over it? Didn't I do that in the end of the last video? Or was I not able to make it across? I can't remember. Still, though, we're going to jump down here and see what happens. Hopefully not my impending doom. Nope, no doom yet. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So, we're using our buzzblaze, are we? Got to use the buzzblaze, got to focus on the buzzblaze. Oh, it's these guys again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then we got to wait for them to deactivate from their metal ball thing of doom. Actually, wait a minute. I mean, the balls are still going red sometimes. Does that mean that they still can get hurt in the ball? Can you get hurt in the ball, dude? They're not really telling me. They're not really giving me any pointers or tips on how to ball kill them. So, that kind of sucks. It seems that sometimes the, the little dudes when they're out of the ball are going red and sometimes they don't. What is that about? Does that mean that sometimes they can't get hurt when they're not in the ball thing? I don't know. Maybe it's because the buzz blades are bouncing on their back. As I said, maybe the metal on their back actually protects them in some way. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. What's this for? Maybe if I had my jello, if I didn't lose it, I could have used that then. Okay, never mind. So, we could go that way, I think. No, maybe not. So, we've got to press all the buttons, right? So, where are all the buttons? Oh, there's another button over there, look. It's a shame I don't have some kind of vehicle or something that I could go really fast on this. Like a hoverboard or something. Oh, I would love a hoverboard. Didn't you have a hoverboard in the first game? I'm just... You did, didn't you? You got one from Streak... What's it called? Skids McMarks. I was going to call him Streaks McMarks there. Skids McMark gave you a, a really awesome hoverboard. So why wouldn't I ratchet and keep that? I mean, what an awesome gadget to use for traversal as well. Don't you think? He doesn't come very equipped. He's like Batman in all the Batman games. You know how Batman always has to star and collect all his gadgets all over again? It's like that. It's... He doesn't come prepared. It's really, really sucky. Still, though, it seems there was an explosive box in there. Oh, look, they're hiding them at the back of the crates now. I see how it is. Been sneaky. Been very planned. Yeah, yeah, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Anyway, though, so we found all that. All of that puzzleage was just for those boxes, which is... Don't you think that was a little... Spending too much time there? I mean, we found boxes of that capacity before. Ah. Oh, that's how it... Oh, oh, oh. I stand corrected. It seems you actually have to go this way. Right. Okay. Could I have just done it from over there? I guess not. It left without me. That's how it is, minions. That's how it is. It's how everything is. You you want to go to the birthday party and they just leave without you. Am I bringing back horrible childhood memories? Maybe. Okay, it's cool. So we're going to the weird futuristic looking temple. So, is this is this one of these Lombax ruins then? I mean, it does look kind of Lombax. It wasn't the planet that I was on with, with the whole Lombax thing. It was kind of yellow. It had, they, they like gold, don't they? They're quite pimped out. Okay, let's give this a go. Right, so we need to... Wait a minute. If I connect this one... Oh, wait, no, 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 no! It's got to be this way, it's got to be this way. Ooh, be careful. Right, and then if I go down, I see what you want me to do. We've got to try and get to the top as fast as possible. We can do this, minions. I hope. I mean, we could try and blow the ball. Maybe that'll make it go faster. Well, upwards. I mean, you got to tilt it and then blow it. Ready, minions? And a one, and a two, and a... I think it works. <laughs> I might be lying there. There we go, awesome! Another puzzle completed! A little bit easier than the other puzzles from the previous games, don't you think? A little bit more fun too, I like this whole handmade minigame thing, it's kind of immersive at the same time. That doesn't look like Lombaxy technology. Okay, it seems that like people- we could have just gone round! There's actually a freaking hole in the roof! Oh, great. Could I have just used my spaceship? I could have just used my spaceship here. Never mind though, Buzz Blades, away you go, girl. So I'm hoping we're gonna get loads of experience from this. We're not going to get any experience. A little bit, I I mean, it's kind of. I mean, maybe two more of those kills and what the f- Okay, that kind of came out of nowhere. I thought bats were going to start sucking on my face. Obviously, bats like to make out of you, but these aren't bats. These are weird little metal for club things. So, what can I use? Maybe the predator launcher? Let's give this a go. You're only getting a little bit of, I mean, every little bit of experience counts, I guess. As I like to say, my motto in real life is experience is experience. I mean, it's a, it's not as much as the Buzzblades was getting. 
Why did the buzz blades get loads of experience, but the predator missiles are- Is it because the predator missiles are really powerful? Maybe. Okay, wait a minute, where's my fusion grenades? Sorry, right, got some fusion grenades. I mean, even the fusion grenades aren't really getting- Are they getting experience? Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, they're not getting that much experience either. I'm thinking it's maybe based on how powerful you are. Where the fudge is that up there? That looks like some kind of weird laser cannon, and I do like laser cannons. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How would we go about getting the laser cannon? <laughs> that is the main problem here. Maybe you gotta go this way. I'm thinking we just climb this. There we go, easy as that means, or easy as pop if you wanna go really old school. <gasps> what is this thing? Some kind of sonic blaster of doom? You have acquired the Alpha Disruptor, the first nano weapon constructed in the Center for Advanced Lombax Research. Hold down the fire button to charge, then let go to release a galactic can of whoop ass. I mean, I like the idea of just calling it the. <laughs> what should we call it? The Ion Can of Whoop Ass? I'm thinking we just call it that. Do you think so? <laughs> I like that. I like that Miranda actually said the actual quote. That is, that is just awesome. I mean, that's really cool when, like, the narrator actually goes out of the box a little bit, don't you think? I think that's really, really awesome. Okay, what do we do? What does the actual little spinny of the boltiness do? Does it actually open sync over here? Where am I going? What was that for? Was there actually any point? Is that just open a door? Is it done anything? Let's just check out map a second. I don't think that's done anything. I mean, if what about that thing that I was talking about with the using the jelly? Maybe I could... Maybe that's what it's done. Over there, on the left? Yeah, yep, I thought so. I thought so. And he was waiting for me so he could open up too. Crank activated the bridge. How considerate. Enjoy technology. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, let's just keep going. So, uh, should we use this? It only has four shots on it. Is this kind of like a really uber deadly weapon then? I mean, if it does open a can of ion whoop ass, then I assume then it's going to. Whoop. <laughs> cool whip. Ooh, minions! It's like it's one of those two, like, leviathan things! Might be able to try out my iron can of whoop-ass on that! Whoa, 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 I wanna try this thing out. Okay, so we've got four shots of it, so I'm assuming it's gonna be really badass. If we go for a headshot... Come on, headshot, and um, pop! Did, did I shoot through its legs? Is it dying? I... No, I... I mean, if generally... Wait. Wait, right, right. See, there are two different phases. You have, when, when it comes to falling over, you, you could either be going to sleep or dying. I mean, what it could have done there is, it could have fallen asleep, farted, and then just teleported out of there. It could be a Leviathan troll. Do you think these Leviathans aren't actually dying, but they're just going to sleep, farting, and then trolling us? And we think we've been really, really badass. I don't actually think we've been as balsam as we think we are. Okay, we've got to go and see these little pad things anyway. And then hopefully, possibly, it'll open the way. The last button's over there! And we're not doing this fast enough. Quick! Quick! Pop! Oh, like a bounce. And I mean, we could've done that even faster, but obviously, through my skills of traversal, I was able to come through. Okay, so we're going up that way, but... Can we go that way? Doesn't look like it. And it's really weird as well, the pterodactyl creatures are here, don't you think? All these planets have pterodactyl creatures, and I don't know why. I mean, why is it always pterodactyl? Is it just a placeholder or something like that? Could they not be bothered to have other flying critters? I mean, so far we've seen pterodactyls and a parrot, <laughs> which is a really, really odd combination. And I don't know why there's nothing more than that. Actually, there are the flying leviathan things, but I mean, just like NPC things or non-danger. I mean, parrots can be dangerous, but you know what I mean? It's kind of odd. Can I please go up here? Why are the elevators so slow on this planet? It sucks. Okay, taste my justice, but we do have more buzzblade ammo. Oh wait! Oh, 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 okay, okay, he got more overconfident than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> he just drove off the edge of a bridge. Fine, that's cool, if you want to deny me the kill, I mean, I understand, that means I don't get the experience right. Which kind of sucks. We might actually be able to upgrade the buzzblades here. Oh, 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 wait, everyone's committing suicide. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know why everyone's dying left and right. It's so weird. Okay, let's go this way. Hello? There's, there's, oh, dear. Okay, there's, there's no possibility that you guys can kill yourselves. No, it actually just seems you're actually letting me murder you, which is awesome. Thank you for the privilege. Okay, let's just keep going. Why? Okay, we've got suicidal aliens. We need to remind that of ourselves. 
And come on, we can actually level this buzz blade up. We can do this. So close. I'm thinking these dudes might be able to give us it here. This is the ticket to freedom in levelage. And really? Really? You're gonna die as it from here? Okay, fine. I see. You want me to just tickle it a little bit more? I can do that. I can do that. Come on, aliens. There must be one little alien here that can give me a level up. One. Just one alien. Any alien. Just one. I literally just need one alien. Just for my level up. No? Really? Fine. Okay, let's do this one then. Wait a minute, how'd you do this? Oh, I, I see what you're doing. You're putting, ah, uh, the, the walls. It actually goes under the walls. It's been sneaky. I see, I see. Right, minion minion means blow it. So we want to go down. Then we want to go left in the middle. Kind of like middle lefty. So that'll be never eat shredded wheat. So that'll be northwest? <laughs> oh no. Just keep going. Push it with the power of your mind. Right. And I think that should be it there, minions, right? I think so. And then you go over there. You go in the red button, and then you allow me to go through this door and find some evil, or maybe good, awesomeness. I'm thinking it's going to be something evil. <gasps> and? Oh! Nothing evil or good. That, that's, that's awesome, I think. What's this? Come on, it's right this way. Oh, dear. Oh, it's you two. Almost didn't recognize you in high def. <laughs> Oh, you're just in time. I'm about to try out my revolutionary high-speed intraplanetary transportation gizmo. <laughs> oh, I take it you was expecting something else. Something capable of vaporizing an entire planet of whatchamacallits? Cragmites. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it don't exist. Uh, what? Friend, I've been everywhere in this universe and beyond. Believe me, there's no device like that. That don't mean what you're looking for ain't there. Say, do you happen to need a three and three quarters cubit hexagonal washer? I seem to have a spare. Here you go, just in case. <laughs> well, good luck, friends. What just happened? Hmm. I am starting to wonder if the Kragmites were ever vaporized at all. Perhaps they were just moved. Ratchet, Clank, where have you two been? I need you at the arena, Chop Chop! I think I may have found another C-L-E-U-W... 4? Oh my goodness, he found a C-L-E-W-4? No way. <laughs> anyway, it seems, how would you travel the universe, or the galaxy, or whatever, through a toilet? I mean, I want to do this. If he can do it, I can do it. I, it seems I can't do it. So it seems that this thing that we've been trying to find doesn't actually exist. So, what is this place? Is this some kind of weird... It, so, is, is the special weapon a toilet? <laughs> is that how they were moved? They just jammed them into a toilet. I don't know. So we came from that direction, right? We need one more alien to level up my weapon. Come on, there must be one. I am worried about Miss Apogee. She may have run into trouble. Relax, she's fine. She's got those two warbots protecting her. Let's go see what Quark wants, and we'll meet up with her later. Oh, now you're worried about her. I see how it is. I mean, she was talking to on the phone? Do they use phones? Hollow phone? There we go, level up. Boom shakalaka. Remember, it doesn't look any different until version 5, which obviously really, really sucks. Wasn't there one more dude? I was going to say, I thought there was one more dude. Okay, should we keep using the buzz blades, or should we try something else? I mean, we still need to level up the Predator Launcher. Okay, Predator Launcher, I'm going to show you some love, because I do love you. I, I'm lying, I don't want to get your hopes up. Oh dear, that thing's getting a little bit closer. So it seems they like to do fiery bear hugs, which is fine, I guess. I mean, I do like bear hugs, but fiery bear hugs, that's a little bit... I mean, fire plus fur doesn't really, really work in our favor, does it? No, no. Okay, cool. So it seems we need to head back to the ship and move onwards to somewhere else. Was there anything else to check out? I mean, there was that whole other leviathan area, right? Or have we already done that? Is it one of those things where we did it in like a completely opposite area? Maybe, I'm not entirely sure, but either way it means it's been me and our proxy playing some Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, and I will see you guys, girls and minions, next time. Ciao!